Welcome to the final episode about the Palmetto State Armory AK-103. As you can see, the rifle is still in one uh, piece. But, but, let's start right off the bat with the accuracy. I told you that uh, I will give you some feedback on accuracy. Let's roll the footage and see what happened at uh, 300 yards. So I'm using uh, Wolf uh, 762 by 39 of course, 122 grain full metal jacket ammo. This is not my favorite ammo, but uh, times are different. It's not like we got a lot of choices uh, with the ammo these days. So let's see what this uh, rifle Palmetto State Armory can do with uh, that ammo and the 3x scope uh, let's go to the 300 yards we got some wind down range should be interesting uh, enough with the bullshit talk let's start pushing those rounds down the range That's a hit, that's a good sign. Okay, we got a five hits on the target. You guys probably already are seeing the results. Uh, it will take a few moments for me to get it and see it. But I'm sure the rap in the studio in the woods will discuss those results with you. So there you go. We managed to stay inside a three MOA. And uh, I would say that this barrel on this rifle if you will treat it with uh, the nice ammo uh, and you're going to have a nice calm day, you're going to have uh, probably going to dip below two MOA. You can shave off that one MOA from the top. If you will look at the footage, it was kind of weird situation with the wind. Well, like a kind of weird pull uh, place where the wind directions were changing. And I knew when I started shooting, that the rounds, because I could see with the 3x uh, scope, that the rounds are getting pushed to the left. And then I tried to compensate, but I failed to realize that this wind changed and the round landed in the middle. But it is what it is. I promise you, we're not going to cherry pick the groups. So uh, still not bad performance. You can take this rifle to the extended ranges and uh, shoot. I can guarantee you that much. You're not going to be disappointed. You're going to have hits uh, from different positions and things like this. Uh, this FN barrel really, really gel is perfectly fine uh, with this rifle. And, and I'm really satisfied. This is a really nice barrel. I think that this is one of the highlights for the Palmetto State Armory that they managed to pull this off for sure. The barrel from FN is a rock star. Now, going back through the whole rifle, uh, taking into account that we went through a lot of, lot of moisture winter, I do not see any spots uh, off uh, for the surface, surface uh, rust. And that's a good thing too. That means that they're finished. They are, you know, basic, you can see the hits or chip outs, uh, but it's not rusting away. That's a good thing. And they put the de decent paint on it or whatever the process is it is holding up uh, even taking the uh, basic and abuse because what i'm doing it's not like a normal <laughs> user will do uh, rifle run 99.9 percent .9 suppressed uh, oss can on it so you know this adds more stress to the components and i actually think this is a good thing because it gives you a little bit more feedback about what's happening inside now, like with everything in the world, I said this numerous times, 
the palmetto state armory has the basic components i think work it out where they going to get punished or their ass will be kicked is on the quality control of the production line and it is totally up to them this is the thing which they can control and uh, manage and if they will keep pushing uh, rifles which are shouldn't leave the factory it's totally on them and we know uh you know just recently one of the one of you guys contacted me and it was kind of disappointing to read uh, he had the issues with uh, his rifle but i think based on the volume volume of the rifles are sold everyone makes the lemons there's not even a question I, like i won't even go there because what is happening right now i think a lot of manufacturers drop the ball completely and this goes for the big dogs like arsenal too uh, that's a subject for probably totally different video but i would like to appeal to the manufacturers i understand what you guys are doing trying to push and satisfy it and meet the demands of the market maybe slow down a little bit pause and focus on on the quality control uh, because uh, it, it, it's at the end of the day this goes to the customer and you want to keep the customer happy end of story all right enough with the bullshit talk you guys got me talking about quality control uh bulgarian magazines from the aku store guys uh, available and these are also maps uh, but let me take off the annihilator combo as well i don't know guys i honestly don't know when those combos will be back uh, in store we try but it's hard to keep mounts in in the stock it's hard to keep the the it's impossible to get the optics uh, these days so but we're trying okay all right this is that uh, bulgarian stock i put it uh, on this ak-103 still in one piece it's working let me pull this out so we'll start with the recoil spring the recoil spring is holding up fine i don't see any you know there's a wear mark here but uh, that's normal let me have a look for the bolt carrier and the bolt and we'll start with the bolt carrier so the bolt carrier get did get splashed there's not even a question and uh, you can see the mark uh, but after uh, all the rounds, I would say it's holding up nicely. And this does not look, I, I think it doesn't progress. So I, I think at this point, it is what it is. Um, and it's holding up. I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, I'll keep using this rifle and we'll see how it's going to hold up. Uh, at some point, I'm hoping to get it to the 10,000 rounds market uh, mark and uh, see how this is going to end but uh, as of right now it was splashed but it's it's not really moving uh, forward so that's good thing uh, camming channel is looking good too that's nice thing to see uh, some light wobble on the piston head that's absolutely normal and then we got tons of gunk uh, on it too but this is all looking okay bolt bolt is always important because this is where the money is right and i do see really nice and flat finish i'm going to wipe that gunk away so it's going to hopefully in the pictures you guys will see it but it's absolutely flat there are no steps no nothing so this is looking actually good and the extractor claw is healthy and the extraction is really nice on it the firing pin is still free floating and that's a good thing too nice so the bolt is holding up great let me see if there is a lot of dirt and junk <laughs> that uh, area of uh, the front trunion and locking locks and the right locking lock is looking good as always they have that step um, that's the way how they doing but it's it's working and it's no issues uh that that step it's not moving it's not changing this is how the psa rolls on the left side uh again tons of garbage and that's a normal thing uh after so many runs this area was not really cleaned was wiped but not clean 
so you guys can see something in the pictures. And then let me flip it upside down. The bottom of the trunion, I do not see any chip marks. If you see something on the pictures, because you always got the high resolution pictures in front of you, let me know. This is looking good. Quick look into the chamber of that barrel. Chamber is looking good too. Uh, no damage on the trigger. Again, I'm going to remove that gunk and hopefully you guys can see the nice pictures. Uh, and the rear end is holding up as well. So I think everything here is looking good. Let me quickly check rivets because this is the biggest concern too. Uh, rivets are looking good. Nothing is moving, nothing is escaping. And that's a good thing. And on the trigger guard, they are looking good too. So that is holding up very very nicely uh many questions about those wooden panels check on the instagram left tech manufacturing left tech manufacturing they make those wooden panels they are mlock wooden panels so they fit uh, in mlock rails uh, all right let me pull out can i yeah i can move the lever with hand let me pull out the gas tube out of the rifle and here's the pirate for you oh and the look inside the gas tube reveals absolutely nothing good to see the gas tube in the condition like this barrel look through the handguard everything here is looking good how is that gas black guys gas black is holding up nicely i don't see any rust on it that's a good thing and the pins, pins for the gas bag are good, pins for the front post are good, and the same on the back. It's all looking good, guys. I would say at this point the button mechanism for the stock still working nicely. That's uh that's good thing. I would say at this point, don't go anywhere. We have to set up the no-go gauge test and to roll the final test on it to see how the head spacing is holding up. Okay, so this is it. No go gauge on the bolt face. I'll make to stay down for you guys. You can sit down. <laughs> Stop biting your nails. And let's see what we got. And nothing. Whew. No closure. Just let's just try it one more time. Nothing. And one more time, just to be sure. I'm going to push really hard. Nothing. Guys, so there you have it. And the gauge is out of the chamber. Of course, it's closing now. There you have it, guys. Palmetto State Armory AK-103 uh, completed the 5,000 rounds uh, challenge uh, test and some beating and stays in one piece and the head spacing didn't change. Imagine that. So, one more time, I'm going to appeal to the Palmetto State Armory. Watch out your quality control. What you have, those components, are doing fine but you have to watch out for quality control uh, and uh, if you have to slow it down i understand you want to produce as many rifles as you can but if you have to slow it down in order to keep the quality control in check please do so all right guys thank you for watching thank you for being with the ak operators union and thank you for shopping at the aku store because the store it really is what keeps us going. So my head goes off to you. Thank you for your support. To the next one project. See you in the next video, guys.